Okay, today I'm going to start the third video of building the Haas uh, DF2 with the TRT160, the machine and the post. Uh, the first part is the talking about how to build the machines. The second part is talking about how to uh, get a DIY post and edit the MCFG to uh, make the machine simulate in yeah. To simulate the machine inside Simatron. Okay, so now the new one that I want to talk about today, uh, it, it will be uh, editing the PGF files uh, to output uh, G code, the programs. I'm going to show you how to edit the PGF files. Um, we will start with the getting the files. Okay, so this is the files. And this is the post that uh, we have done for for the previous uh, uh, video. This is the post, right? And uh, this is the PGF file that we, we are going to edit to output some programs. And, and again, of course, uh, we prefer to output uh, to modify the PGF um, right file modify this PGF file uh, with the notepad plus plus that I attach yeah, in the files and yeah, make sure you go to language and make sure it's gpv 2 pgf uh, If you want to uh, close everything, right, use uh, alternate zero on the on the uh, notepad plus plus, then it will close everything. And to expand, I think is uh, unfold or is alternate shift zero. Yeah. Alternate, alternate shift zero, then it will expand. Alternate zero, it will collapse. Okay. So in this uh, PGF file, there's a few, a uh, few groups here, right? And what you see here, uh, the PGF, uh, this PGF file is actually for high hand machines right so um, to start we have to uh, make sure you get the correct PGF files yeah because this is a harsh machine right so this is how we do it uh, okay so let's go to the DIY post that uh, DIY post right so inside the DIY post under others the, there's a, a few PGF dot you know, has okay make sure you copy this this one because this is a hard machine so use this template to start with of course uh, I have also the template for different kind of machines uh, uh, to to set uh, build the uh, MCFG also. Um, let's go back to the post here. Yeah, those post. So I'm going to uh, make a copy of the hard template. Then put here, and I will copy this name and delete this file. And we name this one as Haas. Okay. Now that yes, you want to change it? Yes. So I've changed it. And uh, yeah, change it. And yes, I'm going to reload the files. So now, 
uh, this PGS file is uh, for the template is for us. So you have Wana, you have Haas, you have uh, Heidenheim and Siemens. Okay. So make sure you choose a correct template to start with. Then it will minimize uh, you a lot of work. And let's ultimately zero the flow. And this is the uh, groups. Okay. Um, before, of course, before you edit the PGA form, make sure you copy all the posts uh, and put inside the this the this. It, uh, if you already have, then no need to uh, overwrite. Just overwrite the PGF. If you don't have, you make sure all the past posts that you you modify is in the post to folder. And also, you need to make sure uh, the machines. This machine is inside the machine folder, machine work folder here inside this folder for the my x table table uh, and this one yeah if you don't have just copy the whole folder into this location here okay this is the location on the c and so uh, after you um, Modify, uh, copy. Let's go and modify the PGF. The startup parameters. Uh, where's the post? Yes. Has. Yeah. Yes. This one. The PGF. So I will open with uh, this one. Okay, so let's alternate zero. Uh, make sure you use a language uh, GBB2 PJ. Uh, let's look at the parameter. Okay, so uh, we are using this uh, house templates. Uh, this parameter don't change it. Yeah, slash slash is command. We can write anything do not change so this parameter don't change if you uh, put it to zero then all this parameter will be uh, ignored okay so let's go to a startup and we have another group here the general control related parameters okay uh, debug for user uh, this one no don't set this this is for me not for you okay for the post administrator and this one I will explain later yeah so uh, machine controller currently uh, uh, I have uh, built uh, this one let's ignore this is not okay right so currently we we have uh, six controller that you can choose you have uh, Heighten High, Fana, uh, Siemens, Hako Hako is not ready yet uh, for now yeah. and Haas is five okay so what how about if you have a Mitsubishi if you have a Mitsubishi then choose the Fanat okay number two uh, so if you have any uh, ISO G code controller uh, that is not listed here then choose Fanat so in this case since I have Haas uh, so I put Haas here number five this is probably the set of five and no two change allowed uh, zero 
uh, no two change. Uh, zero, that means two change. This post allowed two change. One, then no two change. This is for those guys that they they want don't want the post to post two kata in in the in one programs, right? So number is, is zero. Uh, work tandem, work tandem options, okay? Uh, you have a single work offset or multiple work offset. Multiple work offset is for uh, three axes only. Uh, yeah, so colony is not set up properly yet. Yeah, so for five axes, normally we work up with uh, uh, single work offset. Yeah, so we put one. This option sequencing. Do you want to have a sequence number? Yes or no? Right, zero is no sequence, one is sequence number. Uh, normally, for ISO, for me, I don't prefer sequence number. If you need, you just own this. Um, machine coolant, con okay, so this one will. Uh, set one to yes, right? So we are using this PGF file to output the coolant, not the uh, uh, the EXE file, right? Or or the engine, yeah? Not the engine. We are using PSE. So most of the time is one. Okay, M01 on off you have which uh, options you can output uh, mg1 each tool uh, this this one is to asking is to ask the engine to output right the post engine output by itself uh, this one is called output by the pgf file so you can uh, put your coolant uh, output in the pgf file and control uh, how it can output okay the good point of this uh, DIY post is uh, you can edit the PGF and edit the MCFG by a text editor you know? and no need to compile after you edit so the user can edit it yeah uh, then yeah, the file extensions, right? Uh, if you want the, all the G-code files after post to have a certain uh, extension, then you put it here. Uh, maybe for hard yes, I put a point dot. Uh, NC is okay. Okay, so then uh, there's a two uh, for FANAC, okay? two quite uh, important parameter is the high speed control do you need it or not I, 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 I put here because it's easier to add it you know? uh, so it depends on the machine so uh, if your machine have it so you key in the Z, Z05 P10000 uh, if your machine don't have it and then, and then you can just put a space uh, Okay, so you can yeah you can copy like that. You just key like that. So um, if you have it, right? If you don't have it, you just leave a space. Mm -hmm. For us, uh, this machine we don't have it. Okay, now uh, let's uh, edit the, uh, let's close the startup and uh, let's edit the, this one, file axis uh, program setting and format, right, um, other file x related setting, what is this, uh, okay, yeah. Um, 
this parameter control to use the uh, inverse time period or not, or not. Uh, I'm putting put one because uh, yes this has uh, machines uh, will use this inverse period for the lottery for the fly axis move yeah if you have like other other machines such as Siemens or high line this one normally we put to zero and this is the maximum inverse time feed uh, value that uh, that is allowed for the machines just in case you need to change you can come and change here um, the next thing is to you have to make sure um, what is the clamping code for the tilt axis and unclamp for the tilt axis and uh, for the lottery axis what is the clamp and uh, what is the unclamp right uh, that M codes to clamp and unclamp the lottery right if you cannot if you don't have or can cannot get it right you just uh, make a, a space I show you a tips how to modify this one and put a space you just select the cursor here put a cursor here right and make sure you press alternate key to enter the column mo mode of the notepad plus plus and then highlight this and then just place space to, to add the space there okay so for now uh, I just put empty nothing yeah and yeah tube plane is important we need to define right so for a tube plane you have to uh, uh, check your machines uh, whether support this code or not for a, a for for the has right for the indexing move two five four two play yeah and this is a two plane okay so this one actually if if this one then uh, actually is number three I do a rock plane without the interim shift this is what this uh, function do okay so I'm using three and with this code and this is the off code yeah uh, no need to add it <laughs> um, uh, but for these machines uh, we, we don't have this option right for the UMC series yes you have this option but for this so called 3 plus 2 machines now for this machine now so if you don't have this lottery uh, options then you need to change the value to 1 none okay this is important so that so that it will not output this yeah mm. then the other one that for Siemens only so it just ignore it for Hydrogen only just ignore this mm -hmm. this uh, before road planes this is the output right and uh, this is the way how we put some command right this is the open command followed by a uh, double bar the green one double bar this is open command this open command will uh, in has or fana it will give you this collector okay the close command this one it will give you this collector the close one yeah like that right so this is a variable for that uh, that the command character, right? To for the variable, you must put two bar between, yeah. And this is a text. You can key anything here you want. Okay. So since this and uh, this one, if you put this one, what it do? That means if I set the circle number. Uh, on okay circle number on and if uh, post see this 
uh, to add sign then it will not apply the sequence number to this line so this line will not have any sequence number okay that's a uh, meaning but uh, for this if you want to uh, put something here it's okay but for this machine I don't think we need it we just make it just delete it mm -hmm. yes, we don't use any rock plane mm, that's for this machine yeah and how TCP yeah another thing that we need to set is a set is a TCP yeah right so you need to check the machine support TCP or not uh, TCP there's a two types of TCP one is uh, uh, the coordinates the part got but UCS always will rotate with, uh, will move and rotate with the table and another uh, type uh, will not okay so you only support the full TCP for now okay and yeah so the TCP function for us is Z234 and the off code is Z49 right so if you use this, if your machine have these options, then make sure you select number two TCP. Right? But for this machine, this house machine don't have it, so we just put one, none, nothing. Okay. And I'm not gonna put any comment here. Okay, as, as you can see here, is actually outputting the Z05 off uh, this value. The Z05 off is the value that we set here. Here, this value. Okay, if you leave empty, that means nothing will output. Okay, you just empty, nothing will output. Yeah, so no, no, no TCP and no tupling for this machine and the rest I will explain later and after you change this you just save the files and the post is ready for this machine okay now let's post up the code and for debugging post uh, I like to change the two preference uh, this is for post debug debugging purpose. Uh, go this is under under the general. No. Let's see. Ah. Okay. let's open up the uh, test box that we have created at the uh, previous video. And yeah, here we are, test box. Right. This is what we have. Uh, we have created right for the testing so now we are going to post it uh, before let, let's go to two preference to the NC uh, where is the deep um, not, not inside the NC it's under the general uh, uh, Debug post, yeah, general preference. Yeah, is it this one? Uh, no, I just cannot find one general NC. Yes, here, <laughs> uh, it's under the general. And see, and just check this one debug mode. And also, um, you can browse with your editor, you can uh, use the notepad uh, plus 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 the notepad plus plus exe if you want. Yeah, <coughs> uh, yeah, make sure you click here. 
use the debug mode and then I can post select everything and click post right so uh, make sure the post is selected and then this is a zero point yes and then okay just okay and it will load this window right so with this window I can post many 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 times okay many times easily so uh, for somehow okay let's put uh, everything under Nissan folder do I have a Nissan folder here uh, see we should have there's a Nissan folder Nissan Nissan folder yep a lot of rubbish here let's delete everything and uh, skip. Okay, we are here. So I'm gonna post a program here for testing. And if you want to change the name, okay, you can change the name. You know. I will use the default of this. Uh, and I am gonna use the default name. And this, just uh, make sure the has this this pose is selected and then just uh, click run right and then it will post out the programs so this is the program um, it should work it should work it's ready to run There you are. Uh, this is the inverse feed rate. You see? And yeah. That's the code. So don't close this GPV2. Yeah. Don't close it. Uh, we're going to repost, uh, do some editing and uh, post it later on. Okay, now um, <coughs> I I open up the G code with the Notepad plus plus, and I can move it to like that. Move it to other view, right? So that I can see clearer. Uh, uh, yeah, you can press control, huh? use the mouse blower to reduce the text size or increase the text size to to the size that you need. And this side, I'm looking at the PGF file. And for the G code, I built a template for this one as well, so you can set it as a G code with space. Yeah. Right. So this is the command. Right now, I. Now I'm going to show you how to, for example, uh, remove this, uh, this, this block of uh, lines of code. Uh, so first I will show you how to on the uh, PGF debug mode. I'm going to on the PGF debug mode. Mm -hmm. Let's open the plus. This is the PGF debug mode. I just put to one. <coughs> and let's save it. Right? And go back to your GPV2. After you save, you need to click uh, some other post. Then click back the hash post. By doing this, it will re re reload the post. Yeah, you must do that. And I'm gonna post again. Uh, this time I will disable the. 
display G code on it. Right? Done. Come here. And they should have a message. Let's see. Am I posting the same file? Yeah, again. Yes, okay. Update. Um, I don't know whether you see it or not. Right? There you are. Maybe I'll rotate. Uh, make it at the, at the bottom, yeah? So, I, we are going to remove which, which line? This one, right? This few lines, right? Okay. So you need to find where this line is in the PGF file. So the easiest way is using a debug. So this show you uh, the the lines, the PGF line that I'll put this code. So you just go and make a copy, right? Like that, just make a copy. All right, make a copy. And control C, eh, sorry, control F, and come back to here. Then you just search, make a, uh, do a search, can't find, uh, make sure no space. Uh, how about this? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, delete, delete uh, one of the black cat, the end black cat, yeah. And then uh, we get this automatic jump to that line look right so these are the code that uh, I'll put this this value for example down step right down step uh, down step is number six here six and this this is a variable okay and this is a UCS name process UCS name the variable so how do you uh, know which variable is available if in case you want to add some extra one you can make a copy and show you and go to Simaton and go to help Mm -hmm. and make a search of this variable then look for GPP2 and begin uh, this one right so these are the variables so you can choose many many other variables you can add right and if you click on the content right so you have uh, like variable at the beginning of date right and circular motion but variables all the variables you, you can put in yeah uh, let's go so the variables must uh, you must close the variable by double bar must must okay open command is a command collector also is a variables right you must end start with double bar and end with double bar okay the rest is a text. What you key in here, you key. In, this is just a text. What you key in here, you output as as what you key. In. D W N. Ah, okay. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, I need to remove this. Yeah. For some reason, I'm not sure why. Uh, so you can. Ah, get. I already explained. Uh, this to add sign here to is to tell the post don't output a, a sequence number in case you set the sequence number on sequence number on okay don't output a sequence number at this line right so you don't delete you just like that just put a space yeah Down 
the sidestep. Let's do ladies. Right? The ability modifier is just save. And then uh, repost again. Uh, again, you need to select other posts. And then go back to select the hard post to reload the post. Right? And then just click run to post the program. Right? And let's look at the program now. Is it updated? No. Maybe I need to post one more time here. Yeah. Let's post another one more time. Yes, reload. Uh, I want to reload. As you can see now, the, the code is is removed, right? No more. Yeah. So the process UCS. This is the process UCS, right? So this is how you search and destroy, you know, <laughs> search and delete uh, some of the lines uh, uh, if you have, if you need to. And you can add, you can modify the lines. You, know? you can add some some codes. You know, you can reorganize the lines. Right? Uh, one thing about the the lines, don't modify this. Don't modify this. Don't add extra. Okay, this is fixed. Okay, now I'm going to explain the general program format section of the code of the PGF block. So I want to open it. When I open it, you can see uh, yeah, uh, a few groups. This is a tag, by the way. This is a tag. You have a green color tag, you have an orange color tag. It's just a tag. Uh, why we, uh, why I use tag here, uh, right? You so that uh, the tag will show up at this side. So the source cookie fire uh, uh, window, right? At any time you want to jump to a certain area, for example, I want to jump to uh, program N. Just just double click here, and and you you bring the mouse to program N, right? This for example, I, let me close this, and I click uh, process start. Then you will go to the process start uh, block of code for me. Right, this project start. Yeah. So this tag is, is help you to navigate uh, where's the where's the section of the code that you wish to uh, look at and modify. You know? um, yeah, just in case you don't have this this one here, this window here, right? Uh, you can own on this by go to plugin and go look for source cookie fire this one and click this one right and you open this uh, window here uh, so that so with this one it's very easy for you to navigate the pgf okay so let's look at the pgf one by one right the first is a work offset right Right, so when you open up, uh, this is for mm, multi, multi, multiple work offset. Right, let's ignore this. I'm not going to explain this. Yeah, uh, this is a work offset that that the Haas machine has, right? So if you specify like work offset uh, one, you output this. Okay. Uh, for example, if you change the work offset number, uh, for example, five, if you change five, it will output uh, this G58. You know? This is how, how we set. Uh, 
uh, most of the time you don't need to change unless uh, you've got some reasons yeah so we'll go upset then next will be this program starting line this is a program starting line right okay uh, most of the time the default value like user defined pro program start yes or no most of the time uh, don't change it try to use the uh, default one uh, the default is one that means I want to output this one this block of code as the program start code it will put zero what happened it will output the the default code from the engine okay from the post engine by that you cannot uh, if you want to add changes you are not able to right so this one this port here okay I hope you understand this add add and uh, double bar and what's the variables and what's the text you know? just now uh, I think I, I I've done the explanations. So this is program start. So just in case you want to jump to this this program start area to remove something, because I put put in a lot of commands here. Uh, I put a lot of information. So if you don't want some, just remove it. You know, just remove everything and leave a space. Yeah. And just in case you want to add in some M code to initialize or some special code to initialize the program then you can come here and add whatever you want right so this is program start uh, program start after the program start will over overall info this will out output the overall info if you look at this one Mm, this one, this information here, right? So look, look at the debug uh, code here. So you output this. So if you want it, uh, keep it, right? If you don't want, just delete. Just uh, make it into a space, yeah. And program end, the end, end of programs, right? So you output the output is here. You see? program and here yeah, I'll put this two line mm. and two lists yeah this is a two list this one is outputting this one Do you see this the two list here right this one if you, if you need to change it mm. uh, change this one add in a more variables for example uh, here you want to add in some diameter you can right and for the line yeah i'm going to show you how to add a diameter here and so so two numbers so to assess a two diameter variables because I forgot what's what's the name so you can always copy a one two related variables and go to the helps right and search for it mm. this is what I do no normally so look for gbb2 right mm -hmm. so this is our two names so we are look we are looking uh, for diameter here there, this is the diameter so make a copy right so two names and uh, maybe I'll put here and put a space and put a D right D and then one two three three four and put this variable between here diameter and this is how you add something huh? and you just save and let me repost the program mm -hmm. let's do it again post okay. Okay. just make sure you ask for update yeah. 
Ja, oké. Okay. Dus hier. Uh, I have in the dummy to into the tool list. So you can add and remove whatever you want. That's the tool list. Mm -hmm. And the first two change, yes, this is the code for the first two change. This is the code. And if you don't like it, you can change it anytime. And this is the other two change. Yeah, for the second two chain and the last. Right? Uh, this uh, this block will output the yeah process start. When the process start, it will output this block of code. Right? Just now we come here to do this sum of the you know uh, lines here. Yeah. The process first point. Okay, I am putting a, a coolant here. I ask the post to output a coolant at this point. First point means that uh, the uh, the first point of the two path. Okay. When after two change, the the point that the two will go to that is called uh, first point. Yeah. Uh, two length compensations. Okay. This is a two length compensations. And we don't do this one in the two change because that is not the correct way, right? So we put the two length compensation here, and also I put a Z05 underscore on. And this this code is actually here. We go to the startup mm, here, right? Now it's empty, so it will not output. If you have Z0 by P10,000, then it will output. Yeah. So, and you can add some extra code if you need. Yeah. This is uh, two line compensations. Uh, milling draw. Okay. Just in case, uh, for example, the water mill, you own the draw. This, this will output yeah, the draw code. And. Uh, New draw, yeah. Um, most time, why draw? Because uh, the spindle speed change. That's why draw is on. Yeah. Next is two J, two chain safe J. So this line of code will move uh, move the Z uh, by by this position. Okay. Yeah, if you, if you don't like this, this is where uh, uh, is. Let's look. Okay, here's the two chains. Start. Mm -hmm. And this is here. Okay, this line of code. This is to change. Um, yeah. So this one, uh, yeah, I've done some mistake here. But uh, you understand my what I mean, yeah? This this line of code. So if you want to change this line of code. Uh, you just go to the uh, this one to change the jack and edit. It. So maybe instead of this one, I can do like this. Uh, I can put uh, let me put uh, for safety and we put Z90 here and the rest uh, here. I put Z91. Maybe this one. Uh, this one instead of 53 and we'll put uh, 28 right and this one I'm not going to use the G53 uh, value so delete so I have put 0, 0.0 like that just make uh, this move right and then click save and then Repost the program. Okay. Yes. 
look I just changed this line okay sorry about this the debug code is, is not correct -ish, right? it should be it should be this one this name yeah I, I will edit later yeah but yeah you you understand uh, what I mean you should understand what I try to explain here okay so this is how I modify the code for, for the Z, right? This is a general code and machine controls, uh, machining control setting, yeah. Uh, now it just output nothing, just output a command. Uh, I'll show you where this rough machining control setting uh, yeah here yeah, yeah, this is semi control on right semi control on machine control right uh, some machine you might have some 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 uh, some special code uh, for example for roughing you need to output this code right to have some machine machine control machine machine control yeah for finish semi finishing you need to output another code for finishing you need to output another code right to off it maybe you need to output another code right for example uh, um, Seamers, you have it, and uh, Hyde and I also you have such code. Uh, Fana, I'm not so sure. But anyway, mm, okay, use this one, yes. Yeah. Uh, how to define uh, whether uh, uh, this process is roughing or semi or finishing is this one, right? It's the rough process tolerance. If the tolerance bigger than 0. Uh, 0 0.5 so uh, it will output this rough code right? if the tone is uh, between this between 0 0.05 to 0 0.01 it will output the semi right it will output the semi okay So if the if the tolerance is smaller than the semi tolerance, it means uh, there will be the finishing. You output this block of code. Right? I hope uh, my explanation is simple enough. Yeah. Uh, let's close this. Yeah, that's the general program format. Right, now let's look at the motion related program format, uh, this block of code. Uh, normally we don't change the motion related program format. Uh, all the code is output from the post engine, so don't touch it. Yeah. But in some, some special case, maybe, maybe, you need to, you still can, yeah. This, this is the rapid motion block, the G00 block, right? Look, I always, I set this one to zero, right? That means this rapid motion always output from the post engine. This is the uh, preferred way, yeah? So make sure, uh, my recommendation is don't set and put zero yeah don't don't change anything yeah and this is for the linear motions this is for the circular motions right circular motion you have circular motion and helical motions right yeah uh, 
why it is preferred to output uh, this code from the post engine the main reason is because of the is because of the post processing speed so if you on this especially the linear motion if you change this one to one you can try the posting speed will will drop you know? it, it will take uh, quite some time to post out the program yeah so big for short program no problem for big program uh, it can take minutes yeah Mm. That is the motion rela uh, related program format. Okay, now let's look at the cycle related uh, program format. Uh, there will be this block of code, cycle related. Yeah. Uh, use user device cycle, yes. So if we put on that means it will use the the code that is written inside the PGF. If zero, then the post post engine will output the code. Yeah. So this is the uh, init G ninety eight code that I need retrain it. This is a retract clear. So you need to put here. And drill first hole yes no, right? Uh, for fanat normally uh, we set to one. Or in this case, it's hash. Hash is actually same as one. Not it's one. I mean, uh, when you define the code, just like maybe uh, here, this one, right? G seventy three. Okay. Uh, for final type of code, normally it's like this: G seventy three X Y Z R and Q and F. Right. That means if you command this line of code, it will drill you make a hole at that position so real first hole yes in this case yes but sometimes uh, some some people don't prefer to drill the hole at the first first line so they will put k zero right so if you have k if you put k here then this one you should put zero right? that's the logic yeah so the default is okay so don't change it um, yeah this is a cycle in in, in simulator so you have high, high speed pack so this is a command then this is a high speed pack code um, and of course you can uh, add some more some more code if you want right and yeah look here right so parameter so this is the parameter and here you can see here uh, the, this parameter max number line is 30 that means if you want you can add 30 of this line just make a copy then I can add one more line but cannot more than 30 so here you can put anything you want and this is how you add an extra line right let's say 3 and the number must be different right 1 2 3 right so for this parameter uh, maximum number is line is 30 for this one move is 5 for the end, it's also five. Don't create more than five line, uh, more than what is specified here. Okay. And and the number cannot cannot repeat. Yeah, of course. You cannot say the first line is one, and second line is one. No, this is no. Right? If you want to define more lines, yeah. So here's a, all the cycles from cycle one to cycle twelve. This is our standard drilling cycle. Okay. Just in case at any cycle you need to change some code, you can go in. 
right? And also I've included the gun drill cycle here also, right? So here you can now I just output commands for each stage. So if you need to add in some spatial code at a different stage of the gun drill, you can modify it from here. Right? The maximum line for each variable is 10. Right, so that's the cycle related program format. Now let's look at the other, other settings. What is the other settings? Let's open up. So, uh, this setting normally you, I don't prefer you to change it unless you have uh, special reasons. DF2, yeah, this is some of the setting for some sequence max the maximum sequence number if i put a 6 9 after this 6 9 it will reset the sequence number back to one that that's the meaning yeah and the sequence number increment and the starting right and also uh, mm, minimum segments the explanation is here okay don't change it unless you know what uh, what you are doing, yeah. And assist characters, yeah. Uh, yeah, this one also the default character for each axis. So, mm, unless you have a special reason to change it, right? Or else um, don't change it. And G code list, yeah. This is a G code list. This is a G code list. So uh, don't change it mm. unless you find that uh, the deep hole pack, right? The default code that uh, also uh, I don't think you need to change it. Yeah, you just leave space. Yeah, the dwell code is uh, the default also is G04. If if a difference then you can change here right this is the z01 code the inner motion code this is the g00 code uh, yeah so i'll suggest don't change it unless you need to really really need to change right so if you leave a space, it will output the default from the post engine. And then we come to the M code. Yeah, M code, in maybe you need to change for the coolant, right? So, so maybe your miss on code is different than you change here. Miss on, miss off. A true coolant, yeah, you can change here. This is M code, right? M90 code is default, so just leave a space, yeah, and unless uh, this is different. Uh, spindle or rent, yeah, uh, normally it's default is uh, M19, yeah, you can change if, if the code is different. Other controller settings, Mm, I will say please ignore this. And these are the settings that I actually I I'm going to remove it later on. That's it. That is the uh, uh, PTF files. Okay. Let's say let's say now you ready. Uh, yeah, actually now we we already uh, finished uh, building the post version for the pass PF2 plus TRT160 5-axis post. So this is a 5-axis post, right? Uh, what happened if you want to convert this one to 3-axis post, right? Then it's easy. If you want to create some 3-axis post, you just make sure you delete the MCFC file, this file, 
this file and just delete delete it when you delete this the post engine auto automatically know that uh, your post is 3 access so after you uh, build your post of course uh, Uh, if you want to run it, right, uh, you must register your Simaton dongle to this post. You must send us the, all the files to register your dongle into the post, right? Yeah, so that you can use this option here to post a program. If, if you don't have a plug, it's okay. So you can always. Uh, and contact us we can uh, we can you can contact us oh or, or you can always uh, working under the demo mode so this this mode will post a program uh, without longer but maximum number of lines is 888 okay